Cheers. Mm -hmm. Crazy again. Today we're trying out a cuisine that we haven't tried before. It's African. It's called calabash. West African. It's West African. It's been around since, did you say February of 2022? So it's fairly new. And it's got really good reviews. Yeah. I've never had African food. Ever. I don't think. We've had Moroccan food. Yes, we have had Moroccan food. We'll see if this is anything like it. I don't know. I'm really hungry. I am starving. Starving. We're starving. Oh, I did re see on the reviews, this is one of the top rated, if not the top rated African restaurant in Las Vegas. And also, every person who reviewed it said how nice and kind and sweet the owners were. And they take a lot of pride in just really making this a welcoming environment. Let's see if they live up to that. I sure hope so. of all of the drinks that they have. Uh, the first drink is a ginger pineapple juice. Mm, I smell the ginger. Oh, I do too. Mm. It's spicy. I love it. I love it's it. the ginger. I love it. Yeah. That is good. It does taste like ginger. Delicious. I'm getting one of those probably. Next is the hibiscus juice. Which is this one, I believe. Yes, it is. It's a red color, hibiscus. Hibiscus and mint. Hibiscus and mint. No real smell to this one. Not for me. It's a little sour. It's good. But, um, I like the first one better. The first one's better. Mm -hmm. Next is Boi. It's a baobab. Ba baobab. The baobab tree is the sacred tree in Africa. And um, we're going to try that one. This is the sacred tree in Africa, the baobab. No smell. Mm. It's a thicker. It's got a milk in it. I like it. You wouldn't like it as much, probably. It's I like the first one better. I like that a lot too. It's not as sweet. It's more tame. I love the taste of it though. Lastly, Sinigami iced, iced tea. tea. It says it's not like tea at all. It's like a sweet drink. Um, so very, very sweet type tea if you're thinking tea. That is good. I like that. I love it. <laughs> that might be my favorite. I think I like the ginger part. Mm. Okay, so 
She also gave us samples of the, some of the main uh, entrees. So we can taste because she said some. We'll start with the one that you either hate it or you love it. It's called a goosey soup. I want to try it. A goosey soup. Ready. You hate it or you love it? I don't know yet. <laughs> she is. Yeah, they said that so most of them are spicy. Mm. These are spicy. spicy. Oh, I like that. Kick. They're spicy. It's like an after kick. Yeah, spicy food though. So it's, 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 a lot of it is very spicy. If you get tolerant spice very much, you might not like it. As this restaurant looks safe. Mm. How's it taste? I like it a lot. Okay, so this is you love it or you hate it. It's kind of a smoky. Mm. What is that in it? Fish, red palm oil, Ooh, hot pepper. The goosey seeds, smoked fish, red palm oil, hot pepper seasoning, ugu, and bitter leaves. Spicy. I like it. It is really spicy. Let's try the next one. The next one, let's cool off with some peanut butter stew. The peanut butter stew is called Mata Domata. It's a peanut butter soup, and you choose your meat. Mm, peanut butter soup. No peanut butter. This one. Uh, I like that. I love peanut stuff. I love Thai, thai food, so I love like good Thai curries and whatnot. I was expecting it to be sweet. It's not sweet. No. I was thinking sweet because of the, like, when you get chicken satay, the peanut, the Thai peanut sauce. It's more like straight up peanut. I love it. Mm -hmm. Love. I love that other one too, but I think it'd be too spicy for me. The first one is good. The agusi soup is very good, but I think it's just all in all going to be too spicy for me to eat a whole bowl of it. I think so. I like the peanut butter stew so far. Let's try another. The next one is okra. <laughs> the first one, the spicy one. Okay, next is okra soup. Soup kanja. This is a tra traditional Gambian dish with uh, where gumbo finds its roots. Lamb, smoked fish, palm oil, spices. Kind of the same as the first one. Kanja, what do you think? Does it taste a lot like the igusi soup? It's got a lot of the same ingredients. I like the igusi better. This has a taste. <laughs> it's like a challenge. Yeah, I like that one too, but I don't like it as much as the other two. It's good though. Okay, lastly. I don't know which one this is. This is um, red stew chew. Red stew chew. It's a traditional Senegambian tomato based stew with spiced vegetables. I like that. It's got the. Um, I really taste the tomato. The. Uh, I don't know. I'll try it. We're going to get so many things. I'm so excited. <laughs>
I gotta say that's some of the best food that I've ever had. I loved it. Um, I went into it. I I was pretty certain that I would like the food there, but I love that food. The chicken. Uh, I'm gonna have to uh, get just the the uh, grilled chicken. The chicken that they have in there just by itself. I want to get the, just like a meat platter that they have. I want to get that. It was smook, smooky. It was, it was very smooky. smooky. Uh, fall off the bone. Fall off the bone. Yes. And so juicy. It was unbelievable. The chicken, to look at it, it looks burned. It's like black on the outside. But it is not at all burned. <laughs> Uh, very In two juicy. Miles, take exit 75A for Las Vegas Boulevard. You can turn that center. off if you want. Um, amazing. Amazing. Those plantains, so delicious that she said, you got to get the plantains to eat with all the food. We've got to get the foo-foo. We got the foo-foo. Foo I, foo I, I liked it. I'm not a fan of the foo-foo. I felt like it was eating but it is, it's um, fun to say foo -foo. mashed potatoes with your fingers. That's how I saw it. Well, it is mashed potatoes, basically. It's mashed sweet potato, right? That's right. That's what... No, yam. Anyone yeah. out there who knows what the difference is between a sweet potato and a yam, please put it down below in the oh, comments. Oh, yeah, you're I'd right. Sweet potato, is the same. sweet potato is the same thing. I forgot. Jeez. So, we will definitely be back. Uh, Anyone out there who has never had food like that before... I'm going to miss our exit. We'll just go to the next one. I thought you needed 75A. Oh, that's right. Uh, You're right. I, I don't know, because I turned the direction. No, you quickly. don't. Turn it. It's, it's okay. You're right. I'm trying to focus on the road, and then I got confused, sir. Okay. We're good. We're going to take 75A. I'll turn the volume down, just in case. Don't tell the instructions to our house and everything. You're afraid that anyone watching this, a stalker, is going to hear me say 75A, and they're going to pinpoint exactly where we live, and they're going to come and murder us. Please don't let that happen. Oh, did I say 75A? I meant 75B. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> okay, to sum things up, freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. I had read online because the reviews were all like amazing. It's like this is the best West African food. It's so amazing. But beyond the f the amazing food is the staff there and the owners who are just so 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 kind. Yes. And I was like, mm, okay, they're not gonna be kind to us. Of course, we're gonna go in and have a horrible. It's, no, they're so nice. They brought us. She brought us. Her name, by the way, is Shaq. Shaq. Shout out to Shaq. And as she You're says, awesome. she's much cuter than the uh, Shaq that everyone mm -hmm. knows of. She's awesome. But she brought samples of four of the different... Drinks. Uh, drinks. And four foods. And four of the entrees. Brilliant. The, uh, stews. Brilliant. And it was perfect. I wish other restaurants would do that for us. You know, because we, we go to Chinatown a lot. We go to restaurants with food that we're unfamiliar with. It's Am nice. I going to like this curry? Am I going to like this, that, and the other? I don't know. And if you've got something like foo-foo that you're supposed to eat with your hand, I mean, it come, it's very alien. Um, yeah, she said for, for use me. the foo-foo, and it's like a mashed potatoes consistency that she didn't mm -hmm. say that. I'm saying that. And you scoop up the food and you eat it like yeah, this. Yeah, you eat it with the foo-foo. I would have never known. I, I, it sounded familiar to me, but it's it's good to be told how to do something that you're not familiar with. And it was nice to be able to try four of the different flavors, uh, four of the different drinks. Excellent. I definitely want to go back. Anyone out there that uh, thinks, oh no, I can't have Afri West African food because it's too, it's too different. Go here. They'll let you try some of the stuff. Um, well, you tried. So, some of the you stuff like is it. spicy, but the potato stew I don't think was that spicy. Potato. But anyways, we appreciate you guys coming along with us. Potato or peanut? Potato stew? Yeah, oxtail. I don't think that's probably spicy. 
Did I say potato stew? Mm-hmm. I... Cause probably because I would kept saying potatoes, potatoes. You dip the potatoes, you hold the potatoes in your hand, and but it's not potatoes, it's a yam. Feels like potatoes though, mashed potatoes. So anyways, and I'm, I'm gonna try to do my ending again like you have requested. Thank you for following along. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We enjoyed making this video. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe. Give it a big thumbs up. Uh, hit the notification bell. It'll let you know anytime we have post a new video. And we post a lot of videos lately. We're in Las Vegas and we're going out to eat for pretty much every meal mm -hmm. because we <laughs> love food because we are hungry. Vegas. Vegas. Please leave any comments below <laughs> if you have any questions. Uh, or if you have any suggestions for where you would like us to go eat. Why are you laughing at me? Because it makes me think the incision is small and it's glued on the outside and sutured underneath. So you do not have to come okay, back. Okay, well don't hit the guy with the green hair. We have given pain management today. So you do not need to give pain management until tomorrow morning. You'll give it morning and evening for three days in a row. Which is what it sounded like to me. Bye!